Miles, Jess, welcome to the Consumer Reports Auto Test Center. This is Jen Stockberger. She's the Director of Operations here. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Jess. Hi, Miles. Welcome. So we got kind of a special thing for you guys today. We're going to put you in this car and expose you in the safety of our track to some hopefully real world experiences, build your confidence behind the wheel, and show you some of what the car is capable of doing for you to keep you safe. So Jess, how long have you been driving? About a year. Yeah, and Miles? I got my permit a month ago. Oh, nice. so there's a difference even among you guys, which we may see out there. So Jess, with your vast year of experience, I think we're gonna start with you in the driver's seat. Okay. So let's get out there and do it. All right, guys, let's drive on three. Ready? Okay, and one. Two, three, let's, let's drive. drive! We're off to drive, so exciting. So the first course we're gonna do is getting a feel for heavy braking. Anti-lock brakes, or ABS, are key to stopping in the shortest distance while maintaining control of your car in an emergency. But Jen says it's really important to get a feel for when they are engaged and working well before you ever need them. And it's important for Jess and Miles to learn that you want to apply firm pressure and keep your foot on the brake until your car is stopped. Okay, when you hit the two cones, brake. Okay, so that was a good break, but it wasn't hard enough. Uh -huh. You didn't feel the ABS, because you'll know when you get it. So we're going to try it again. <laughs> when you feel ABS, your reaction is going to be to lift yeah, off that. Yeah, I definitely did. Don't do it, because let it do its job. Like, almost stand on them, Jess, to uh -huh. get that emergency braking. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, she's got it now. So good, so good. That feels so and weird. And that, my friends, is the ABS. You know I ate lunch right before this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miles, put some miles in this car. Hit those brakes. Ooh. Feel it? Whoa. I feel like something like tapped on my foot. Yeah. <laughs> A little Again. tickle on the foot. <laughs> if someone tickles your foot, you usually yank your leg away. Well, don't do that. Now, back to Jess for ABS demo number two. So you're going to go to the cones, start your braking, but at the same time, put a little steering. And what we're trying to demonstrate is the ABS lets you do both, which is why it's such an advantage. So brake and yeah. steer. And that's what Jess is going to do right now. Right, Jess? All right, here we go. Got it, got it. Now break, steer. Oh, yes! Yes! See it? So you so had both. The steering wheel, like, I thought it wasn't going to, like, actually turn. But it did. Okay. Go. Don't be nervous. Open track. Not a person out there you could hurt. Yeah, just cones. And break. Nice! Nice. You did it. I was expecting to hit a cone. Oh, maybe you did. Maybe we just rolled a joke. Oh, now, now you did. Yeah, now I hit a cone. Right. What is this? This is called the avoidance maneuver. See the two mm -hmm. cones in the middle? Yeah. Pretend that's a kid running out with a ball. And I'm going to say to you, at the last minute, left or right. Oh. Because okay. in the real world, you won't be able to prepare for the kid running out. And can you make that quick, evasive maneuver? Left. Good job. Oh, excellent. Did you feel the control? Yeah. You are in the box. You avoided the kid with the ball. You did a great And I felt the job. ABS. And you felt the ABS. Now, Miles gives the avoidance maneuver a spin. Right. Now break. Break, 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 break. These complicated maneuvers can be tricky for young drivers. But that's part of the point. Right. That was good. good. So how are you feeling? Get a little more comfortable yeah. each run. And that's the point. New lesson. So this is a slalom course. Yeah. What we're looking for here is a couple of things. One, training yourself as a driver to not look so close to what's ahead in front of your bumper, but kind of ahead of where you want to go. I also want to see your hands, Jess, at nine and three. It does two things, gives you control, but prevents you from getting injured if the airbag should ever deploy, because your hands are now on the sides. Okay. 
look ahead. Stay steady on your throttle. Nice. <laughs> nice, yeah. Very nice. Excellent job. And you did something that was very good. You also kept your gas pedal, your throttle, very steady. Now, Miles tries the course. There you go, Miles. Okay, slow down. You're going to miss. See, now you're missing. You're giving too much gas. One more time. Don't speed up. Don't speed up, right? There we go. Left. Nice. Quick Wheels, quick, quick. And left. Oh, oh so good. Now break. Oh, nice. So good. <laughs> Do you feel it? Yeah, I think I hit a cool though. That's OK. <laughs> That was great. Nice job. Nice job. Nice work, buddy. Nice job. How you feeling, Jack? Um, yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing good. <laughs> so you guys did great. You did great. So Jen, um, ultimately, should teenagers practice these? We absolutely encourage. If there are driving schools in your area that do similar demonstrations, take advantage of them. Not only do they give you that experience like we just did, but they can give you a break on your insurance. So what do you think? You want to go try some more? Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> oh, um, I think I'm going to sit this one out, guys. <laughs> All right? All right. Good luck over there. All right.